He's got <laughs> big ass go. arms, dude. Y'all ain't gonna stop playing with me. <laughs> what the fuck? Six right here, baby. Six your money. That's a whole ass grown adult right there. I wish I was six feet. I would pay ten thousand dollars. How tall are you? Feet. Five nine. Oof. Like whoa, bro. I'm, dude, it's dry out here. Did I'm, you just I, hit I, me I had with a, the wolf? I had a silent cough. I d did. you cough? No, I okay, did not good. cough. Uh, bro. What's you, up? Hold on. Right, um, let's get my this. doctor told me I'm five eleven and three four. So I was like, doctor, I don't know who, what bitch put you up to this, but I'll fight you right now. I will take that stethoscope and choke you out right now. You that's disrespectful. You think a doctor has been killed by his own stethoscope? Because that's he listens hilarious. to his own heartbeat yeah. as he goes down. He's oh, like, ah. no, oh no, oh goddamn, um, dude, that that what is it? That noise in the hospital? Boop, Oof. boop. That scares and, the fuck out of and me. And then that shit goes. Ba, 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 quarantine. That'd be such a dumb doing, video idea. DJs and <laughs> DJs in the hospital. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Just dies. Anyways, what's going on? We're live for the first time. Actually, we usually go live uh, just for the Patreon once a month, which is only five dollars at patreoncom slash Pod. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I've been working on my elevator pitch. That was really good. I can't yeah. even remember the the backslash and all that other shit. That's fucking. It funny. might not be real. I think it's real. But Gabe, is that right? Stiff socks, fucking stiff socks backslash pod. Whatever? Yeah, stiff socks pod. Whatever happened Thank to backpage.com? What is backpage? You don't know what that is? No, is that like a heavy jerk off site? It's like uh, Craigslist, but more without the appliances. So just jerk off. I think you can buy hookers. Hookers sounds so much cooler. That's like a cool like name. I think prostitutes the best. I think harlot might be the best. Harlot's harlot is great. Yeah. Harlot is. That sounds fun. like a bar though. Sure. It's a bar where you can get get jerked off for money. Whoever invented prostitutes is a genius. <laughs> like, good for you, madam. I mean, what a... Thank you so yeah. much. Well, I mean, it makes sense. You looking at a dude be like, men like this. Uh -huh. Men have money. Right. We charge money. And dudes be like, oh, I could do that. But who was the first one who invented? Like, Margaret Thatcher or something? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro, but whoever invented the OnlyFans.com, that shit, that's crazy because you can strip from the comfort of your own home. You can strip and then take a nap. You can strip underneath your own duvet cover, and that's nice. Yeah. That's, that's a good feeling. That's interesting. You can light your own candle. You can. You can. You can set the own tone. You can let, put your own music on. You Be your own DJ. You're not beholden to anyone else's music. You can put it on your own, you know, Napster playlist. What the fuck happened to Napster? Where are oh, they at? I think they sold out for like $3 billion and God. then they just... You got to love a company that just gets racks and then just bounces. That's my favorite. You know who should have done that? Who? Snapchat. One Didn't they get like an insane amount of money and the guys are like, we are the future. And they're like, hey, you want to read CNN with a dog face filter on it? No. No one does. People are dying. Pe okay. What? Who uses Snapchat for real anymore? It's just to send pictures that disappear. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I don't know. It's stupid. But I do know people that get their news from it. It was that's, just so that's funny. I mean. That's what I mean. It's that's the, so... the only time I'm in Snapchat is when there's being nudes sent back and forth. Okay. You got it like that? Huh. Listen, I'm single in these streets. Okay. We're where? Man needs to be fed. <laughs> you know what I mean? What? What's the feeding? Pictures. All right. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> what about a... Do you think you could get off to an Etch-A-Sketch? Yes. I was going to say an edge of sketch titty, but like, yeah. Uh, no. I, just a titty? Just, well, who, who, who drew it? Like, is it, is it really naturalistic? It looks fucking great. I mean, it's as good as it could look on an edge of sketch. Could I jerk off to it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, think, I think I can get hard to pretty much anything if I really focus. Because then oh. it's like, I could look at like an like a iPhone wire and be like, oh, that kind of looks like a, okay, here we go. It kind of looks like a G string. Why is it called a G? I think it's in the shape of a G. Is it? I don't know. I think that makes sense. Looks like a T string to me. It should be. The Dude. Tesla logo looks like some freak shit though. Yeah, it does. It looks like you could put an ass right now. It looks like a little like like it have a lock on it. Wasn't that crazy back in the day? Like the was that was that true? Like, yeah. The, yeah, you, you got a fucking ch -ch ching. You know what if you was lose your with, keys? Was it with How do you key? pee? What if I you lost so. the key? That's what I'm saying. It gives a whole new meaning to a skeleton key. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we got some questions in chat here. Gabe, shut up, dude. You know what? I'm done. I'm leaving. <laughs> no, we need Gabe so run, much. Run your own Gabe. live stream. Michael's, so Michael's been insanely Gabe. rude. He's just been hopped up off that team. Uh, we need Gabe more than anything right Any, now. Uh, anyone. Uh, all right, we got questions. Uh, they're coming in hot. We got, we got John Myers who wants to know, if you could be a Pokemon, 
or no, bang good. a Pokemon, which Pokemon would you choose? Uh, wow. What about uh, Team wanna... Rocket? Them bitches bad. Do they, they count? Yeah. Well, uh, Team, Rocket, Team Rocket's Team Rocket's not a Pokemon, oh. is it? No, I mean they people. train them. They got the plug. They got connects. That's true. Uh, there's one that it's like it might be a mermaid. She a little angelic. You know what I'm talking about? I don't. I would be Charmander if we were going to go there. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to bang Charmander? No, I would. The, the question was, which why? one would you be? Why? dick always burning? What the fuck? Why would you be Charmander? First that of all. That boy got chlamydia out the ass. Why are you telling ass? everybody that my dick be burning? Huh? Commercial break. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think pizza's here. Huh? Uh, mer- I, I've never had uh, I've never had any uh, burn, Squirtle. burn the dick. Squirtle? So I could squirt. Ah, God damn. Oh, oh, shit. Holy fuck. What are you doing? Are you looking up sexy Pokemons right now? Well, that's already on my home screen. But like, I love it. Okay, I found my answer. Please give it to me. Uh, it's called. Prim- this sounds like an Italian pasta dish. Primarian. Primar. You know what I hate? If we had a restaurant and you just point, and the waiter doesn't help. Help. I like. <laughs> help. Sir. I like when I go the the prima and he goes a primavera. Yeah. But when, when they point and they just look at you and go spit it out. <laughs> I can't. No, I can't. You know why? Because it's not in English, yeah. buddy. Yeah. I'll tell you who no it one is. one knows how to pronounce that. Primarina. Let me see. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, let me see. Bro, that's a bad bitch right there. Let me see. Trevor, do you remember uh, someone from Omega with a red hat named Andres? Probably. You know what's so funny about this day? That uh, Pokemon's bad. You know what's so funny about today's society? Is if you wear a red... If you just say red hat... I don't Trump, think you're allowed baby. to wear red hats anymore. <laughs> you're really not. And that's what's confusing about people that make like other things that like aren't Trump related. They do like the knockoffs. Like yeah. make weed dank again. First of all, why are you buying hats at Spencer's gift store? Also, weed is so dank. Have you had weed recently? <laughs> you, I smoke weed. I turn into a what fucking kind of pitch is this? <laughs> tiger face. What? Oh, you've been watching that show? Tiger face? A little the bit. Tiger King? I listened to the whole podcast and now I'm, I'm watching it. I tried to watch it last night. Uh, I'm going to watch it tonight. Check it out. It's It's fun. I was like a little drunk last night. All right. Yeah. I was a little drunk trying to watch it. I can't, I can't focus when I'm drunk. I'm drunk. I'm horny. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I'm looking at tigers. I'm like, I fucked that tiger. What you hear a bird chirp by the window. You're like, madam, come in here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Miss. Um, what, I, what Pokemon are you banging? Um, I, I don't really know hot Pokemon. I would be Charmander for sure. Cause I just like to fire. I want to have fucking fire. Media. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, that one looks cool. I think honestly, bro, is Pikachu a dude? Mm. Nobody knows. I think Pikachu would give you a good hand job. <laughs> Pikachu! If I, get... <laughs> I don't think so, bro. You don't think so? I think it's like when you've been rubbing too much carpet and then you get a little static shock. Yeah. It might give you a little boost, though. I think so. You know, when the doctors do the amps on your chest to uh-huh. wake you up? It yeah. might be like that for you. To wake you up? Isn't I that think what that's it's for? Your heart's stopping. What does wake you up? <laughs> Worst alarm clock ever? Just dating, <laughs> dating somebody who's uh, always in a hospital. <laughs> Uh, question from Jared who wants to know would you rather sweat nacho cheese or shit cheese its oh wow uh, shit, shit cheese its yeah I don't want to sweat nacho cheese can you imagine being at the gym just I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry that's <laughs> fucking horrible yeah shit cheese its that's not too bad I don't know it doesn't sound I mean, great if it, if it comes if it comes out like a coin slot we're good but if it comes out the other way you're fucked yeah uh, if it comes you know out I mean? like rapid fire like <laughs> It's kind of tight. That is kind of tight. Also, 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 you can put like a plastic bag in there and maybe sell them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You can sell the nacho cheese too, though. Nacho cheese, that stuff's uh, liquid gold. That'd be so funny <laughs> when you're drunk, everybody's just running up to you, licking you, be like, Trev, come back, bro. I just need a lick. I just need a lick of that cheese dick. Would dick. you dick? Oh, shit. The whole body. It would be coming out your balls. Does your dick sweat? Like the actual shaft? I don't think so. Nah. The balls do. They play it does cool. The, does the shaft sweat? No. I don't know. Shouldn't it, though? Doesn't it get hot? The shaft is like a tree. Like, in the fall, it you know, the leaves fall, but the, the stump is still the same. It's not a bad comparison. You didn't want it to work, did you? I didn't. I really... Anytime I take a pause, I go, I hate this, but fuck, it works. It happens all the time with Trevor's analogies. At first, you're like, shit, okay, yeah. I'm a volume know. hitter. I'll throw out 100 and four of them will bang. The other 96... We can cut. <laughs> we can cut. Not the live one, though. We can't cut the live shit. Uh, Trev, Cameron McFarland wants to know, why the mustache? Uh, I think that's a great name. That's such a like 80s porn star name. Just like aviators just fucking on a plane. Uh, I think because this is the only time where I don't have any auditions. I don't have anything important. Uh, and this is the only time where I can like literally just be like, what? quarantine, right? Also, you feel weird just shaving being clean face just to sit inside, you know? 
What are we gonna bang my own reflection? Probably. Yeah. Could you? What bang my own reflection? Yeah. If you just became. Nah. Would you? Yes. I, I got. I got no ass. Uh, Stephanie says, "Let's be realistic. To find Blastine would fuck any Pokemon." <sighs> what is her name? <laughs> uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. You right. <laughs> I can see you getting freaky with uh, there's a, p- a Pokemon called Diglett and it pop- it looks like a little hot dog. Ooh. It pops up and out of the ground. I can see you getting freaky with the hole that it goes. Or I might knee. just sit on the hole and watch him go, go in and out. <laughs> Diglett! <laughs> 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 Woo! <laughs> well, another two weeks of winter. It's still dark. Oh, this is somebody's asshole. <laughs> Groundhogs are hilarious. We just put so much pressure in their in the palm of their hands. Do they know? They what- have. No idea. What if they're down there making bets? They're like rigging it. They're yeah. like, I'll fucking put 45 uh, chestnuts on there if you don't go out there right now. Because I'll fucking go out there. Or you think he's just getting a breath of fresh air. He's like, God damn, I'm hungover. Pops up. He's like, fuck all these people. It's like two more weeks of winter. He's like, fuck right. I know. I'm tired, baby. Hold on. So if the, I forget. If the motherfucker shows his head or something, then all of a sudden it's winter again. I forget. Someone, it's either that or the opposite of that. <laughs> so all there we go. All right. Is show his head. Yeah, he like pops that. up. He literally pokes up, just like what y'all up to? What y'all on? And then people. Oh, what, what, is it like a day? Like yeah, March? Groundhog's Day. Oh, that makes sense. Do so you really Groundhog's not know that? Day. Hold on, it's Groundhog's Day, and they sit by the dude's house, and then if he p- comes out the whole day. 24 hours, they just sit there. Dude, they, they put like cameras up, bro. It's like a fucking webcam. February 2nd. Uh, okay, well, oh, it's his shadow. February 2nd, a groundhog is said to forecast weather by looking for its shadow. If it's sunny out and sees it, we're in six more weeks Six more weeks of winter. It's not all about a shadow. Which, so it's just, it's just a live but, sundial? Yeah, literally, you can do this with your finger, yeah. but why, why the fuck are we putting this on groundhogs? I hate, how, how is it 2020 and we're still trusting fucking groundhogs i don't know i feel like they don't have too much relevance in this world so it's nice to dish them out something like that i don't know but dude how stoked were they when sonic the hedgehog movie came out holy shit why is that i don't know i feel like they're very related and the fans huh? somebody Cousins, somebody made yeah. it yeah somebody out the at the at the group made it like yeah. that's the homie oh fuck that's the homie sonic <laughs> uh, someone named dominic points out that there is a pokemon called lick a tongue oh wow the, dude there is bro you gotta see a picture of this freak right. bitch dude Hold on. Isn't it funny that like all cartoons somehow end up being horny and sexy? Like, well, think about the animators who make this. Oh, bro. Okay, <laughs> give it to me. Let me see. What is it? Lickatron? Lick a tongue. Bro. Lick a t- they didn't even try to hide it. Lick bro, a she could top you off from a fucking balcony of a four story <laughs> apartment complex. Oh, my God. That's crazy. I would be nervous. I don't even think my dick would make it past the first taste bud. No. Also, you ever seen a, you ever seen girls with like real long tongues and, like, and they're like it's hot, right? I go, no, you're a lizard. Get away from me. It's weird, right? <laughs> Give me fifteen percent or more on Geico insurance and then get the fuck out of here. Yeah, they just put their tongue out like. It's no, there's, like there's why there's is your tongue hitting your chin? There's literally some girl on Instagram. She has like a million some followers. I, I know what you're talking about. She just it's does this weird. shit and like goes out. It's like, what? It's scary. You ever notice how Instagram is slowly just becoming like a like a Venice Beach type freak show? Does that make sense? Yes, it makes perfect sense. All those people, if Instagram existed 10 years ago, when the people in the Venice Beach, like the Freak House show, if they had Instagram, they'd all be popping off. Think about all the people that like popped off off like random shit. Like da- damn long neck dude. Yeah. Like he he got millions of followers. Can I ask you why? It's I've just seen different. Some of his it's content it's, and it's like, well, it's, it's just, fine. It's just different. It's like a thing. It's just like, I don't know. What's his name? Daddy Longneck? That shit is so... What a great name. Apparently him and Theo Vaughn are like somehow related. The only reason that I even knew initially what who Daddy Longneck was was because of Theo Vaughn. He said it was his cousin, but I feel like I feel like when you're from like the South like that, you just say your cousin If, as if like you're your both friend. from Louisiana, they're just like, we'll count it. That's my cousin. Yeah. yeah my goddamn cousin. Have okay. you ever done the 23 and Me? What is that? Is that the family tree? Yeah, I did the 23 and Me, and I am white as fuck. Like, annoyingly white. Like, oh. everything's like, oh, I'm English, French, blah, blah. I wanted something cool. I got yeah. nothing. Really? What, what, don't you, how do you submit? You lick a sock or something? It's honestly super, you could lick a sock, I guess. It's really gross. Really? It's, yes. It's a, it's a vial, like a plastic vial, like, honestly, like, this big, maybe like three inches, like, like a little bigger than my dick. Hold and, up. Okay, here we go. Lick a uh, tongue. Uh, lick a tongue. I was going there, too. There it is, comedy. And you spit, and you literally sit there and have to spit in it and fill it up. Did you, did you put any music on while you... We're I lit some spin. candles. I, I did a fan. That's the only time I did the fan. Eat some fan skittles, only. yeah, <laughs> just to salivate a little bit. <sighs> but it's it's kind. Of, it's honestly gross, dude. It's because you're like, and you have to fill up a whole vial, and then you have to mail it to someone. What? I mean, think about their headquarters. 
It's just a bunch of fucking disgust. Dude, how much saliva do you think that girl with the long ass tongue can get? Does tongue length matter with saliva? She could probably spit Outtake? a double shot of fireball just off the, off the rip. Yeah, dude, she's not human. I don't. It's what, the dude from Kiss. You know that wow guy? What? Don't they all have that? No, I just had one guy. Gene Simmons. Is it Gene Simmons with the long tongue? I, I believe so. I think it is. All right. Gene Simmons. Gene. Uh, uh, what else in the we meantime, got? Yeah, we got an interesting question here from Storybook HD. It Love says, uh, I know Trevor said he doesn't really watch stuff like movies and other content. So, I don't. Uh, do you feel like that gives you a helping or hurting hand in like your own social media stuff? Ooh, facts. Um, I think, I think it does hurt a little bit because I can't like I, the first thing when everybody started talking about this Tiger King show, my first instinct would be like, Oh, that could be a funny character. Got people who watch this, but now I got to watch the show. I got to like, I'm just losing time. Like if I already had already been watching the show, I'd be like, Oh, I'll bang this out tomorrow. Now I got to do like research and shit. But sometimes what I've noticed <clears throat> more so, I think is stand up. Like some people use a, 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 a movie reference right. and it bangs and it crushes. And I'm in the back. Like, ha, ha, ha. Training day. What? Yeah, I don't. Top Gun. Is that a Nike thing? Who's Tom Cruise? Huh? I've seen Top. Yeah, no, I don't know. I just, uh, I think I do miss out on a little bit because some, like even with Game of Thrones, it, but also I like not doing that because then everybody's making videos about one thing. Like there's gonna be a fuck ton of these Tiger videos. Yeah. Be a f- when Game of Thrones, the parody was ending, all that shit. All, everybody's just like, eh, here we go. Here's my take on it. So it's the same thing with this pandemic shit of everybody making videos. I've seen the same joke about toilet paper 45,000 times and it's just like, what I don't need, I, I, to be honest, now that you work me through it, like I don't think it's a bad thing because it's sort of you're out of the whole like, yeah, ev- yeah, because every, everyone is like sort of talking about one thing, mm-hmm. and then because the characters that you choose, they're sort of like, um, they have like a cultural feel to them as opposed to like super niche, yeah, exactly, <clears throat> yeah. exactly. I so kind of like, like doing that just because it's like, and that, I mean, you talk to a lot of stand ups too. I mean, I don't know if this is kind of related, but they're like, I don't watch other people's specials because I don't want to be influenced by anything. I just want my own point of view. The problem with that, though, honestly, is if you don't watch stand up, you end up stepping on people's bits. Yeah. And then you're like, and then someone's got to be like, yo, that's kind of a Bill Burr bit. And you're like, fuck, I've been working on it for three months. It's like, it's it's sort of good. I don't think it's good to watch so much stand up, but I think it's good to watch a little bit so you don't start yeah. like start chopping people's bits off. Yeah. But I, I mean, I, I, I guess to answer the question, not really, because it's not the kind of stuff I make. But um, yeah, maybe maybe I got some more downtime. I will. I like I like you Planet mean, Earth. That's that's my that's my shit right there. Planet Earth is so good. You ever watch that? Yeah. You know what I was thinking about the other day? There's only two people that watch that show. Zoologists and people on drugs. Yeah. You've never heard of a sober person being like, y'all see chapter part three, the tiger fish? Yo, have you guys ever watched that uh, documentary that's kind of similar? It has the same feel as like the one y'all are talking about, but it's about animals who like, they, you literally just watch animals, like animals of prey, just like attacking like dogs. Yeah, but that came out of, was, was that the one that showed the fights? It, it like got really big on Twitter, I think. It was, uh, I forget what it's called, but yeah, I've seen that one. Oh, my, it is. Me and my roommates used fucking, to just fucking, yeah. and then just watch that shit and you just be like, dog, I don't know, shrimp had that many like legs and shit. You just talking to it like a, it's just a cat. The cat's like, huh? <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, a couple of people in ch- chat say bring Bryson back. Um, yeah, I haven't. I was actually thinking about doing a Bryson uh, video recently. Uh, yeah, Bryson characters like the OG shit. I don't know why I stopped doing it. I think I think I had like, I th- I did like ten videos of that, and then I was kind of just like, that's played out. But I think some of the best stuff is you don't want to do. Like you let it breathe a little bit. You want the demand to come back in. But it's also you don't want to be like pigeonholed as that. That's originally why I started doing all types of stuff because I don't want to be just known as that one thing. But right. I'd still, and I'm trying to pitch a show right now, and that Bryson's like one of the main characters in it. So, Dope. Um, Gavin Roy says, How is the Cali lockdown going for you guys? What's life like? <sighs> I mean, it's a little tragic for me just because I can't, there's no. But I, there's no vagina like you can't you just it's just it's gone and it's it's just upsetting banging a jar of vienna sausages dude it's i mean just, that's what i this it's that's yeah that's well also you live alone Tuesday. which is uh it hey, doesn't help what's that again you live alone so i live just the yeah. loneliness factor i live alone uh no vagina and then after i'm done my work it's like you're sitting there and I, there's no stand-up so yeah. at like 7 8 p.m i'm just like what Am I, who am I? You just text him Verizon back, be like, yeah, what's up with them bills? But yeah. y'all been watching this game. Verizon's like, ain't no game on. Text, the, text you like, there's Met- a person? Yeah. Metro Mile, like, is my insurance <laughs> due yet? 
Okay. Calling telemarketers back. Hey, what y'all on? Y'all, y'all bored yet? Oh, I've been calling mad people. Like, yeah. FaceTime Dude. people. <laughs> FaceTime with people as I'm fucking eating. I'm like, hey, what's up, Jim? I'm fucking. It's my biology teacher in seventh grade. What am I doing? Yeah, I got a telemarketer call uh, probably like a week ago, and I just like real calmly, I was like, I'm gonna mess with this guy, and I was like, Matt, what is your name? And he goes, I was like, Jim. Oh, listen to me. There's a pandemic going on. Why the fuck are you still at work? And the guy just starts laughing. And I just like held the phone far. I was like, save yourself. Save yourself. That's how bored we've gotten. The, I crushed for one guy who's probably somewhere stationed in, in Indiana. But I, I, I murdered for like a solid 30 seconds. Crushed. Dude, you don't realize how much you need stand up in your life until it's fucking gone. Right. And dude, you start I running, am like. Running bits by everybody. Dude, I'm in my car by myself being like, you know what's funny? That's funny, Michael. Man, art's stupid, huh? Yeah. And just like, wh- what am I doing? FedEx guy's about to drive away. You're like, oh, hold on, hold on. The funny thing about Valvita cheese is, and the guy's like, <laughs> Call I'm going to save mom. you right there. <laughs> Call my mom be like, you know what's funny about your feet? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, mom, I got the virus. She's like, oh my God, are you okay? You're like, you know what else is okay? You ever had uh, McDonald's <laughs> breakfast? It's like, what are y'all trying to, is it breakfast? Is it lunch? She's like, Trevor, j- save yourself. <laughs> Shut up, mom. Just listen. <laughs> but it's a breakfast. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of, yeah, that is a good point. She comes up with a good tech. Good. Thank you. That's great. Thank you, mom. I have nobody to do this joke for. Trev, what's your dad's name? I don't want to say. Is it Ron? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says, but, he says, stop touching your face, Trevor. Use the fucking wipes. Love dad. <laughs> That's not, <laughs> Pops in the chat. Dude, Pops, what's up? Yeah. He's great. I met him one time and he has the energy just of like the nicest man. Like I just want to bake things with this guy. Good Ugh. guy. So you he, he got a good stash too. He does have a great stash. Yeah. Um, He's hot. <laughs> Bro, them Wallace jeans be cooking. Yo, shout out to you. You're a good looking, good looking guy. Uh, we got a question here from Dominic McKinley who says, any tips and advice for writing a screenplay or making videos? Hashtag goddamn. Uh, I would say... I mean, just expect your first shit to be trash. Like, even like I said, I'm trying to pitch a show right now. And in five years, I'm going to look back. Like, the fuck was I trying to do? Uh, just experience, really. You just try, learn. Because the more you do it, the more you'll be like, what the, like, the, I don't know. I think the main thing is just finish it. That's like, I've written a, a, a ton of screenplays and it's literally just, you have to get through the three acts, finish it and understand that it's, the first draft is going to be trash and just fucking just get to the end. The main thing with screenplays though is outline, outline, outline. Like really, really don't don't just be like, I got an idea. I'm gonna be a sausage, and then the sausage is gonna go to Vienna. It's like, bro, okay, cool, and then start writing. No, I just do that. Out, out, yeah, okay. Um, but it's but it's just about like the outline and really thinking through each character. Um, and then and then doing like a very 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 detailed outline, and then start writing. Like you have to, cause you have to know where the story's going versus just like starting to write. What do you do once you? Cause I I, I did that. And then I'd be writing. I'm like, actually, I want to go this direction. Then you got to rewrite the whole outline. No, no, which no, which is fine. You have to leave room for essentially like riffing, like in the moment, like inspiration. But at least, but you need to know where the story's going. So I mean, I guess if you make a big turn, if you're like inspired and you're like, oh no, I don't want this character to die in Act Two. I want it to die in Act Three or whatever. Yeah. Then yes. Then then yes. Like finish that writing session and then st- take a step back and be like, okay, so now where is the story going? Yeah. Cause then it's like if if you if you if the character wants to die in Act Three and you had to die in Act Two, then all of a, there's a lot of changes. So I yeah. would take a step back and adjust the outline. But yeah, I feel that. Just know where you want to go with it. Yeah, I mean you you like yeah you I mean yeah. And also start writing and you, your brain just wanders off. At least for me, of course. You just be writing shit and then you be sitting in the middle of like a coffee bean and tea, be like, <laughs> this one's gonna sell. <laughs> uh, we got a question here from. Shit, I lost it. That's okay. Gabe lost oh, it. Oh, here it is. This is from Sawyer French. How hot would a girl have to be for you to hit it, even if she definitely had coronavirus? How young is she? What? <laughs> what I'm saying is, if she's 70... Phrase would... your questions <laughs> and answers better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, first of all, that's y'all that took it the other way. Okay. How old is she? Where did you go with this? Well, I, I'm of course thinking, y'all went I'm this way. I'm child. saying that's on y'all. That, if I said how old she is and both of y'all go, oh, he means 15? No. That's FBI I mean. is watching this live stream right now. But go I, on, Blaustein. No, I said how old is she? And you said but, how young is she? That's the same question. How old is she is a better phrase. Is it? Yes. You're right. 
right, all right, take two. See, we can rewrite it in, in uh, act three. All right. How old is she? How old is she? Because my point is, if she's 70 with corona, she might end up passing away. So I think that, you know, you might want to give it to her so she gets some dick before she dies. That's okay. You know Selfless. What? Yeah. That's such a wild. She's like, I just want one last meal. And you walk in there wearing a little onesie, be like, your snack has arrived. She's like, no, I'm hungry. <laughs> hungry and I'm this. horny. They're like, get the fuck out. <laughs> How did you get in here? I said I was a, a clown and I was going to perform a, a play for somebody. <laughs> Um. Wh- okay. So the what he's really asking is, if she's super bad, would you have sex with her if she for sure had corona? Um. Well, I think it's it's a respiratory thing. You get it by like if she coughs or sneezes and it gets in yours. Honestly, a glory hole has never been a better time to shine because it's just well, no, maybe yeah, I don't know. I think no, maybe I, maybe I don't think you'd be doing if, the sucking. But if it's if it's there's just a wall. A right. glory hole is, is just like a cheap condom. You think about it. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to live <laughs> episodes. <laughs> you <laughs> can't cut shit. Um, I don't know. But I, if, if you're going straight P to V, where's the coffin? I mean, if you're doing it right, hopefully a lot. Hopefully there's a lot of <laughs> and all that's respiratory. Give yeah. her water. Okay. Why so dry? This is what I'm saying. You put a motherfucking Jansport over her head. Jansport? Good. Yeah, so even if she goes, huh, it goes right into the backpack, not into the air. Jansports are pretty durable. Yeah. You have like this same backpack for like seven years in middle school. Great for you, Jansport. Why was I in middle school for seven years? That's a question everybody wants to know. <laughs> uh, do we used to kick the shit out of roller backpacks though? Do you ever do that? I didn't have any roller backpacks in my, in my school. Oh. Well, whoever because had roller backpacks, like- we would just run up and then just full on and the people's oh. wrists would go flying with it. God. You were straight up bullying people? Yeah, but everybody was doing it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's not the worst thing. Giving kids a swirly. No, 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 no. Did you ever, what was this shit? Uh, table topping? Do you remember that? Where okay. someone would be standing and somebody would like, oh, yes, behind them would like hide and then just push you. That's the just, best. That's what happens when you don't have social media. You're like, how can we stop this? Also, it's like you, when you're a kid, it's so funny because you never think about, hey, you probably could really hurt somebody. Well, they made an announcement over the loudspeaker. They, they're like, please stop tabletopping because somebody did it, got knocked out, and peed their pants. That's great. And they said it in the announcement. They're like, so, they're, somebody has a... Uh, well, that's... But they use a scientific term. Like, somebody has a... Uh, urinated their... Well, it's like when somebody calls poop feces. You're like, yeah. what is this, a dinosaur? You know, it doesn't make sense. Fecal matter? Just say shit. <laughs> just say shit. If a doctor... just it, I want a cool-ass doctor. Eh, there's some weird stuff in your shit. Great. I doctors, I feel like, I don't know. Some doctors are very, very old school, but like, you ever had a cool doctor? It's, it's weird. weird. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I'll tell you, I mean, yeah. If we're being honest, it's weird. If a doctor was like, yo, man, you got mad shit in your shit. What? That's okay. kind of cool, though. You feel, because sometimes when they're very professional, you're, you're like, they ask you those questions, and you'd be like, like, have you ever smoked or drank? And you're like, why would I ever poison my body like that, good sir? You're just drinking a wheatgrass shot. But sometimes when they're cool, like, I remember, I went in for a physical. With, I went to a different one. This guy was like, you, you, wanna, you want me to test down there? And I was like, might as well. And the guy was like, word. He didn't say word, but he, but he, he, didn't. he, but he gave uh, a head nod. He goes, all right. I was like, you say I? Right? Did you say all right, sir, or I? Because I mean, I, I don't trust you now. I was cool with it, though. He's like, all right. Did he say, I'm going to test you down there? He goes, you, do like you, because you want all the tests, you want the test down there? And I was like, yeah, I mean, might as well. And he goes, all right. Did he look at when he said down there? You want to test down there? He did like a, he did like a, oh, just like you a know when your, your friend tells you to check a chick out, but yeah. like doesn't want to point, but uh-huh. you know, with the eyes, he did yeah. eye points. You want to test down there? Okay. All right. all right. It was kind of cool. We dapped I, up it, after, got drinks. It was yeah. just my homie diagnosing me. It wasn't me. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Did I ever talk about the time that I was maybe like 12, 13 and the doctor told me I had nice legs and I go, get away from me, you fucking freak. No. You're a fucking freak. First of all, I don't have good oh, legs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he no. like felt my legs. He gave me the, he gave me the like touch the ball test. He was like, cough. And then he like started feeling my legs or whatever like this. He goes, you got some nice legs. Don't He's touch like, cough, me. Like, grab my murder. wrist. Like, what? He's like, yeah, Grab my head, you. put it down there. Huh, doc, what? I hate it. Whoa. No. What was the question? Where I are we? Don't, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> Haley is uh, watching right now and is in medical medical school and is going to be a cool doctor. That's crazy. That's great. I, I think a cool doctor it relieves some of the tension. Can we go middle middle of the road, Haley? Though can we not go full like, I right, man? So the thing about you is we gonna have an amputate your motherfucking ass leg. Don't we just go middle ground? You know, maybe the doctor that you ran into is fine. 
But like the whole like too much cool, then I don't believe you. Yeah? Too- Anybody with a scrub on, I believe though. I used to have a joke where I was like, y'all need to start wearing scrubs out. If you if you're a dude or if you're a dude or a lady, you wear scrubs out, like at the bar, oof, so much more vagina dick if if you wear scrubs out. Did you uh did you Is listen it? to that Doctor Death podcast? No. It was a guy, a Newport Beach guy that pretended to be a doctor and uh started dating some like rich interior designer and was trying to steal all her money and almost killed her family. Uh, but he was pretending to be a doctor the whole time and he would just wear scrubs everywhere. And so he'd be like, I'm a doctor. So funny. Because real doctors really don't do that. No. Yeah. It's like the people who do stolen ballot. They're just like fully suited up, just in line at 7-Eleven. They're like, I can cut you guys. I I, I surf this country. Stolen Valor. That's a my dope ass phrase. name, dude. It is. Stolen Valor. Sounds like a crazy death metal band, too. Like Or a shitty improv group. Yeah. Hey, welcome to We're Stolen Valor. Yeah, stolen Valor. All right, get out. <laughs> Any get out. Suggestions? <laughs> suggestions leave. That's not a good one. Who do 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 do? Uh, this comes from Brayden, who says, I just want you guys to know that you can't spell quarantine without U-R-A-Q-T. It's the most Brayden thing I've ever heard. Yeah, you I, I was just in a video I just did with, 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 with Chad Turdley's. That was a quote from that. There it is. Oh, he just quoted the video. Maybe. I don't think it, I think it's a very popular thing. I think people would be like. You are a cutie? Quarantine has the words U, Q, and T in it. In an R. So you are a cutie. Yeah, but I, I I'm I'm desperately trying to figure out what what, what do the you fuck not, does that even I, you're I, a cutie cutie you're a cutie you're yeah cutie but do we understand in what in what context what do you mean what are you, are you reading quarantine and you're like oh I'm a cutie or you're like sending it no, it's oh, like you're a pickup line huh it's like a pickup line you are a cutie like if I could rearrange the alphabet I'd put you and I together. Like that kind of thing. It's just like a... Oh, uh, sick. Brayden. <sighs> what? Why are you getting so mad over the spelling of a, a pandemic? I can't even spell quarantine. You can't spell pandemic with where my penis at. <laughs> you can. Uh, the people want to know when you're taking stiff socks on the road. Well, we wanted to do it at the end of 2020, but yeah. motherfucking pandemics out here like, y'all got plans? Fuck them. Uh, I don't know. We should probably do some test shows. We'll, we'll see. We, we might do some pop-up shit. Cool. Yeah, I think it's, we'll yeah we'll start off some pop up shit in LA and then we'll we'll figure it out from there. But yeah, this pandemic's kind of fucking it up. But uh, we definitely will we we'll definitely will have at least one. It's fucking a lot of things up, you know. So what is, what is it mainly fucking up for you specifically? I mean, Stand for up? me, I mean, there's way worse cases out there. People like going through stuff, which is the hardest part is people with their families and stuff and all that. Uh, but the biggest thing is just like the not knowing. If somebody was like staying inside until April first. I can like re I can like normalize that, but they're not knowing shit. You know, you mm-hmm. just be like, all right, well, is this the new regular? Because everybody, nothing's like. I wish we just had one source that we all listened to. Like remember back in the day, they're tuning into Channel Four right now, and that was a source. If the yep. motherfucker was lying, whatever. But yep. now it's like you hear like six months, one year, two weeks. Like what is? I just I just don't know, and kind of weird for me. But honestly, it's just the stand up, really. Yeah, I just, I just feel like with the timing of it, if someone goes, it's going to be one year and someone goes, it's going to be one month. Just in my brain, I sort of go worst case scenario. So I adjust myself to, okay, it's going to be eight months. This is going to be eight months. Cool. All right. So just get used to it. So you got it. eight months so of move in So I got eight months in, in me, right? So I'm yeah. emotionally adjusted eight months. And then if it's less than that, sick. But y- you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel yeah, like, yeah. I feel like we all just need to get a, we're just like, it's going to be a year. And then we all just need to get used to it being... Well, there's also, until it's back to normal, normal, full speed. Because we might be off in six months, but shit's going to be all fucking weird until then. I don't think... I think it's going to be weird for a little bit. Like, I feel like we... I think we talked about this before, but, like, people have shitty memories. Shitty memories. So, like, I feel like people are going to forget about... Like, if if the government goes, all right, man, I think the cases are... The, the, we've, we've killed the curve a little bit. We can... Everyone can go, come out of the house, blah, blah, blah. I think it'll take, like, a week before people are, like movie theaters comedy shows like i don't think people yeah. are going to be freaked out for like longer than a week or two you know what i mean i don't I think it's going to take so long for people to get like adjusted yeah you know? i don't know a uh, question from Jaden, who just wants to know are you guys happy today yeah i i, I am i am i think uh i thought like the quarantine and everything was going to make me uh you know depressive or whatever 
But I, f- I feel good. I feel good. I feel like, you know. I think you just realize how much worse it could be. What, what, what really always cheers me up and makes me more like, <laughs> quote unquote, blessed. <sighs> Shut the fuck up, Trevor. <laughs> uh, dude, you ever been to a hospital lately? I'm talking like ER, emergency room. Bro, I go, no. the, the one I go to is like connected to an ER. Okay. And it's like you go in there and you just see people that are just in so much more pain and just right. kind of like they're just older and they can't. You know, somebody's got to push around. It just makes me more like thankful that I'm like, more, you know, I'm healthy and mobile and, you know, got this great fucking mustache in this average size. <laughs> oh, God, you said amateur size? Amateur, what does amateur size mean? I think maybe average size. Amateur could also have big haters. That's true. Amateur, a lot of amateurs I've been, amateur porn I've been watching, like these dudes are packing fucking records. Sometimes. Sometimes. I feel like sometimes it's not amateur. I feel like sometimes yes. these are dudes that could have gone to the pros, but they're still playing in the farm league just to flex. I also feel like if you're watching those, you're like, is this the farm league or is this the pros and y'all shooting with a farm league camera? I feel like that's what I'm saying. I feel like sometimes they just be like amateur. And I'm like, you know what you're doing. Yeah. You get you get like a good angle and you go, I don't want Dude, a good angle. I want to see rookie porn. That's what I'm saying. I want to see a shaky ass camera. I want a girl be like, uh, can we stop for a second? I'm thirsty. I want to see that. Hold on. <laughs> My aunt's calling. Hello. <laughs> oh, damn it. This is T-Mobile. Oh, uh, yes. Hold on. Hey, what's up? No, where's my iPhone? I don't know. Uh, yo, you know what's funny is like when you're having sex sometimes and a girl oh, goes, hold okay. on, I need a break. I don't know how to take that sometimes. No I go, I go, <laughs> you say, huh? I need a break. I need break a break. Up. What, a oh, break. this Kit Kat bar? The fuck you mean? No, come on. No, but like sometimes when that happens, I go, all right, what do you, you need mean? a break because you're not having a good time? Or you need a break because you like need a break? Like, should I take it as a, like a compliment? Yes. It's like, I need a breather. You yeah. a treadmill and she got to be like, let me, let me, let me put her on the walk mode. You ever seen somebody sprint for nine minutes and then like, let me, let me walk for like a quarter mile. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, so you know how sometimes when you're running on the treadmill and you're like, fucking need to take a break. You need to take a break because you're not having a good time. Who has a good time on a treadmill? That, that's what I'm saying. What? That's what I'm saying is, are you, do you want to take a break from having sex with me because you're not having a good time? <laughs> Here's the thing. If you're banging, she says, you want, uh, can we take a break? Great, you're putting in that work. If you guys are at brunch and she goes, we need to take a break. Well, <laughs> different story. No, I think that's a compliment. You're just flexing at this point. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm right. really, no, because every time, every time it happens, I go. Don't you hate it when a girl tweets out, God, Michael Blouse, I got such a fat dick. What do I do now? My dick is kind of fat. Hold up. <laughs> it's not. What, it's not. What size shirt would your dick wear if it had a t-shirt? Medium. It's medium? Medium? Medium. XL? Medium. But like. Medium. All right. Athletic fit? Medium. Slim fit? Under Armour, medium. Oh, Under Armour, medium? Yep. Wow. Yep. Jesus. Shit is always ready for the treadmill. <laughs> Put on a large t-shirt, but there's a little room to breathe. Yes. Do you wear a large or medium? Large. Large. What are you? I'm a medium. Wow. I know. That'll do it. I mean, you're also six foot and I'm five nine. Don't fucking do that to me. Do, <laughs> do, do you understand? I, I, like, that, was, that was from my doctor who told me I was 5'11 and 3'4". No, you're not. Dude, every single time I used, to get, I used to get measured, I used to do the, uh, do the tiptoe. Oh, yeah. So you get 5'10", not 5'10". Yeah, yeah. But then, you know what's crazy? I would do the tiptoe, they would say 5'10", and I'd be like, I'm 5'10". No, you're not. <laughs> you just fucking, you did it, you know that you're You know not. what's funny? On your license, you can also lie. You can yeah. be like, I'm 5'11", and they're like, okay. Yeah, they're not going to say anything. And you're looking around like, ha ha, don't bitch. And then you show a girl at the bar like, look at me, I'm 5'11". She's wa- like, you're wonder- shorter than my left tip. <laughs> I wonder how much you can lie. Cause, cause I'm seven three. You don't know me. But like, if I was like, if they're like, how tall are you? And like, oh, six, I'll go oh, six two. You probably got, you probably got three inches in you. Dude, my buddy, yes, I agree. I think it's three. But if I said I'm six foot, they'd be like, no, you're not. Maybe. No, no. My buddy lied. My buddy is my height, and this guy was a, just lied all of the time. He said we were in a four tours. He said it was a V eight. I go, hey. No, it's not. This is a regular four tours. He, we argued for 20 miles. And I go, let's pull over, open this goddamn hood. It's a V6, I'm telling you. So like that type of weird-ass liar. Like, why are you even lying about that? On his license, it said 6'1". He got 6'1 energy, though, from a 5'9 body. It's all about how you present yourself. That's true. It's like when you see people with the Chrysler 300, and, and you're like, you know that's not a Bentley, but they're like, it is, though. And you're like, it's not. Yeah, if you but, come, yeah. but have you ever seen people that switch the, the logo on it? I'm like, you are catfish in the fucking automobile world but who's when, that for when they switch it do you think they think that it's a bentley yes that's i know that's the same thing sometimes with plastic surgery i'm like do you know that your face doesn't look like that like i think they like this is how god w-. no no that's you didn't come out like that look at your lips you look like a bass a bass fish stop it i hate that 
The whole thing. What's up? Do you want to go to? No, I don't want to go anywhere with you, sir. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, we're learning something today. Um, <laughs> Next question. We got a question from Ivan Kiki. Canfield. He says, "What's what has been your go-to quarantine food? Peanut butter and jelly. Uh, what the fuck has mine been? I'll be honest with you. Peanut butter and jelly is always Dude, my go-to food. So. Coffee. <laughs> Just coffee and a Quest bar. I feel like you don't eat <clears throat> enough, bro. I don't. Why? Time <laughs> takes too long to eat. Oh, oh, dude, I've been posting a lot. Hello, guys. Been banging. Ooh. They've been fueling this bad boy up, dog. I need to eat more. I just, I get, I get. It, it takes too long to cook. I it get, doesn't. I literally. I'm, this is how lonely I'm in my apartment, and this is how angry I get at my body because I hate eating. I was literally editing something, and I was hungry, and I was in the middle of editing. And I literally stand up and I start slapping my stomach, being like, oh, you need food, you fucking bitch? Oh, yo, I'm hungry. Ooh. I was so angry. Yeah. I don't want to. Let, let me finish. That meal you posted, what was it two days ago? Was it pasta? It was last night. Was was that a joke? What? <laughs> huh? Of course it was a fucking joke. That shit looked like a goddamn set. No, but, but you know the people who post shit online, they'd be like, wife me up. It's burnt ravioli. Right, I mean that was that was what I, where I was going with it. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? When I, like, I didn't know if it was like serious or not because no. I, I saw frozen meatballs cut in half, and I do that. Yeah, meatballs go good on anything. You could put meatballs on a ham and cheese sandwich. Oh, that sounds kind of good. You can put meatballs on a meatball. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, hold up. Wait, hold on. Why is it, you know they bread bowls? Why is it not a meatball bowl? Oh, fuck. You're just meeting it up. <clears throat> why is it not a waffle bowl? Can you imagine having? Yeah, a, I feel like a it would it would hold then, the shit out. Say again? I don't think you'd hold the, the liquids. No, but not liquids. I'm talking about you have just like a breakfast bowl. So the waffle is the bowl, and then you do like eggs and bacon and put a little bit of syrup on top. Get the heck darn it out of here. You know what's funny? You what? serve that in a restaurant, trash. You serve it in a food truck, million dollars in two weeks. Why is that? Food trucks, the weirder it is, the better people like it. it well, I mean, the whole, the, whole, uh, the whole like business idea is weird. Yeah. It's in a truck. Remember when they first came out and everyone was like, I'm good. And then all of a sudden it's just a million dollars idea. It's like you're, it, you're making it in a truck. It's, it's weird. just honestly, I mean, like they do okay sales like when they're out in front of like offices. When you put a food truck out front of any bar at 2 a.m., it's like, it's so smart that you can move a restaurant. Just be like, oh, there's drunk people. Let's go there right now. What are the, what are the laws? Like, can you? I don't know. Because like, I don't think you can just park that bitch anywhere. I mean, I don't know. They're going to put money in the meter. <laughs> They get a parking ticket. I have seen food trucks that get parking tickets, though. Get out of here. But I guess they're just like, I'm making enough money. I don't give a damn about the LAPD. I will say, though, <clears throat> um, in LA right now, they sort of said, no, we're, we're good on parking tickets. I've seen the people. Yeah. They're back. I will say, though, fuck you, LA County, because I got two parking tickets already. Y'all told me it's during a pandemic. Why are you getting Week one, me? they were like, ah, now they're like, I need my money. Because they're yeah. suddenly realizing my job on the line too. LA Fitness, on the other hand, y'all ain't going to just auto-direct my shit and not expect me to have questions. How often do you go to LA Fitness? Once a month. Okay. Here's the thing. All right. <laughs> why do you, why? I don't know. It's far and it has stupid, the parking is difficult and it's, it shares in, dude, it's, it's a whole, I just got to go to a new gym. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Do you, I, I've ne we've never talked about this. Do you, like, how often do you go to the gym if the gym is like down the block? If it's down the block, I go more regularly. Like when what? I was in Santa Monica, I was going like two to three times a week. Really? Yeah. What do you do at the gym? Just like run? Yeah, I run. Sit? You don't lift weights? <laughs> yeah, I just do it. I, I just, I touch up, you know? Yeah, you do a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just I, do a little, ba 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 Shade here, shade here. As there. long as I sweat. I mainly like to work out because it clears my mental space where I feel better, like, get them endorphins all boned up. You got to. You know, you would be so funny if you were just like, yo, you know what time it is? I'm going to get fucking jacked. Remember when Chappelle got swole up and you're like, what is happening? Yeah, bro, college Trevor was different. Because I really? just ate and drank a lot. And then I would just, just do chest. And, I've never showed you a picture in college. I was a little beef boy. No, you weren't. I swear to God, I was a little beef boy. All you were pulled. jacked up. I was, I had, it was enough. There was enough for I somebody to be like. I have to see this picture. It was just, it was just like every frat guy. Frat guys, all they work out is chest and their biceps. So I would just go in, do that, do legs once a semester, tweet about it and be good. I'd be like, all right, y'all can't talk shit about me because January 19th, I did legs. Fuck off. I've, I've done legs 22 times in my life and I go to the gym like six days a week. And 21 of them were walking upstairs. 100%. 
Um, we got any other questions? I want to find this picture of me being yeah. fucking ripped, uh, daddy. This is from Jameson Bradley. Fuck Mary Kill Skittles. Brian Scalabrini, your future wife. Hold on. Oh well, marry well, my, my future, future wife. Wife is uh, you have to marry. You sort of just gave. I'll us kill that. Skittles. Oh wait. I want to fuck Mary Kill. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'd fuck Scalabrini for sure. Really? Yeah. I could have some athletic ass babies. Dude, I know that's not how that works. I don't but. even know how I would how I would get, I, could, I don't know if I'd be able to like fuck him just because he's so much taller. Like how would he even get up there? I'd have to. That's embarrassing to sit on a booster seat trying to fuck a dude. <laughs> that's crazy. Um, you got yeah. fucking wedges on. <laughs> yeah. Um, dude, in college I used to wear the biggest shoes ever, like on purpose, just to be taller. I used to wear Timberlands all of the time. That's funny. Someone Yo, was- what? A little beefcake boy. There's better pictures, but I, no, 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 dude. This is, this is like the face is obviously normal, but like the body, a, I'm like you, like you for real, kind of jacked. Yeah. We hold it up to the camera for a second. What the fuck? Can you punch in, or do you need it? Uh, I can't punch in. Dude, that's Damn, crazy. You there. Y'all ain't gonna play me like this. Peep game. Wow. Let me see. I mean, it's not gonna be in focus. Uh, oh, we can kind of see though. Come, come a little closer. He's got there big go. ass arms, dude. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna stop playing with me. What the fuck? That was 17 years ago. <laughs> uh, what happened? <laughs> That's the comedy question. started working out, and I was like, oh, you don't need biceps. You yeah, don't comedy need muscles. started working out, so you stopped working out. I get it. Yeah. Um, Tinder or Bumble? Bumble. Bumble. Tinder fell off. Tinder's just like, hey, here's my Snapchat. Give me eleven dollars to see one of my areolas. Like, dude, right, dude, I didn't even leave these comments. What the fuck? Somebody's like, what happened to my man? You've been hitting the treadmill too much. Oh. When did you post that? Is that a while ago? Yeah, it's like 2018. Oh, well, th- th- this picture right here is from like 2014, 15. But I just posted it as like a throwback. That's so funny. I gotta, yeah. Oh, this is funny. Haley Fitzpatrick says, I used Michael's homeless man voice impression on a guy hitting on me at a bar, and I've never seen someone back away so quickly in my Yo, life. Yo, that's great. That's, that homeless impression is something else. That's great. I love it. So, you, oh, that's great. You just turned around. He was like, hey, what's up, girl? You know what's me and you? You know what's in cutie quarantine? And she looked at him and she was like, get the fuck away from me, you goddamn asshole. Sounds like a frog that smokes a lot. Yeah, it sounds like a frog that just eats glass for a living. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, someone was asking earlier, how many pairs of shoes do you guys have? You guys shoe guys? I kind of have a lot. I only wear like three or four, but I got probably like 12 Those pairs. Those are fire, the yeah. Converse. I'll just, I forgot I had these and I started wearing them a lot. I go through shoe phases where I'll whore the fuck out of them. It's like music. I'll just play the fuck out of them. Then I'll be like, next. And then I'll wear another pair. It's really, yeah, I don't know. Or I'll see somebody out with some cool shoes and I'll be like, oh, those remind me of those shoes I have. But I probably got like 12 pairs or something. Yeah, I'm sort of in the same boat where I have about like 12, 13, 14, whatever the fuck pairs. And I have a bunch of like Jordans that I love, but I just don't want to wear them because I feel like I don't want to crease them. So I, I have a good number of shoes. but So I when do you wear them? Huh? When do when you wear like when you I wear mean, them? very infrequently? I mean, yeah. I have a pair of like Space Jams that I probably wore like twice, which makes no sense. Like you're gonna spend all yeah. that money and just not wear them. I know it's. I know uh, comics that have stage shoes. They'll like wear normal shoes to the venue. Then once they're about to go on stage, they like take them out of the bag and then put them on. I'm that's like, crazy. That's hard. That I don't know. I need I need shoes to be a little worn in before I wear them on stage. Like you yeah, know what I mean. You need to like, be comfortable in them. Yeah, especially the way I do stand up. I'm not. I don't just stand there. I'm fucking doing backflips and shit. So I need to. I need to have some. I need to be a little agile. Would you ever wear those shoes that are individual toes? You know what I'm talking about. Yes. Would I ever wear them? Yeah. Or have I? Would you? To uh, I mean, as a gag. I don't know if I just no, just like day to day. Like, yep, got to go to Ralph's. No. <laughs> those things are so dumb. I always want somebody to drop a dumbbell on their feet when I see them in the gym. Jesus. Oh, I hate it when they wear them in the gym. Like, it's better for your fucking back. Shut up. Or the people that do squats in just their socks because their foot's more flat or something. Stop it. <laughs> wear your it's fucking Reeboks. Like, at what level are you, do you need to be that guy in the gym where you're like, fuck the shoes. We're going to, well, I don't know, Buffalo Wild Wings after this. Gotta be fucking yeah. sure. The only way I'm okay with that if you're training for, if you're like in the Olympics. But like... What? Yeah, but if you're you in the Olympics, you work at H and R Block. Yeah, what is the, the point Olympics, of getting swole up, jacked up that you feel you need to wear socks? Yeah. Hey, Harold, put your fucking Reeboks back. Uh, yeah, on. the Gold's Gym, you can do whatever the fuck you want because the floor is just filled with heroin needles. Well, steroids, whatever you know. But like at a LA Fitness or like a Planet, why is Planet Fitness like the Android of gyms? People do not care about that place. Well, because it's fucking ten dollars a month. 
Yeah. It's ten dollars a month. It's just like a, an enlarged hotel gym. It's no, it, it that's exactly what it is. Everything's it's, purple. It's, it's a hotel. Yeah, the color scheme. Change it. Yeah. Change it. <laughs> Nothing about purple, purple makes me want to get buff. And then they hand out Tootsie Rolls, like little purple oh, yeah. Tootsie Rolls. Those, those are kind of hard, though. I'm not going to I think they have like pizza days and shit there, too. They do. I have a whole joke about it. They have pizza days on Tuesday and bagel days on Monday. What? Everyone's going to the gym to get away from all that bullshit. They're trying to fucking, fatten you up. I think so. Looking like fucking 2018 Trev. Uh, question from Lexi K. What's the dumbest thing name. you What's the dumbest thing you've ever spent money on? Mm, probably the Yeezys I recently bought like well not recently but I remember I, I, I had an audition I thought it went well I was pumped it was in downtown LA by this like shoe store that like they shoot that one show there uh, nice kicks they shoot that the, the, the complex shoot sh- oh, sneaker they, stop it the, yeah, so the, whatever yeah, the fuck yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's right there. And I was like, oh shit. I went in there the day after these brand new Yeezys dropped. I had no idea. And the guy's like, we just got these. And I was like, how much are they? He's like, 300. I was like, bet. And then just cha ching. And I wear them like twice. Right. That's the I, thing. That's the thing, though. Do you, do you not wear them because you don't want to get them fucked up? You don't wear them because you're like, this is too, they're too much. Uh, well, I go through phases. Like sometimes I'll, I'll wear them. I wore them a lot for like a couple shows. I just started I, I, at first, I was like, I don't want to scuff them up. But then I wore them to a show. And then afterwards, somebody dropped like a fucking Jaeger bomb on them because. Yeah, be wild. Base. Yeah, and then you're just like, all right, whatever. But uh, I think in hindsight, just spending 300 on shoes, you're like, all right, let's dial it back a little. Yeah, I mean, dude, I spent uh, or 750 dollars on a Purell costume. Almost two grand on getting my fucking car orange. So right. that's probably that was almost two grand. The dumbest money I've ever spent. How, the guy was how like, old were you? 19. Yeah, that two grand to a 19 year old. That's like that's like 20 grand. How how did you have two grand at 19? Um, selling drugs. What? <laughs> the, what is it? Statue of limitations or some shit? Is that that's a thing, right? It was I'll so cut funny. This out. Oh wait, shit. When you yeah. like were getting your car, uh, uh what's it called? Buffed wrapped. Out. Wrapped. Yeah. You're like, I want orange. You guys like, no, we we have like uh, we have any color you want. He goes, yeah, orange. He's like, no, no, we have like like a like a like a matte black or like a gray. He's like, I said orange. He goes, like, all right, sir. That's a dumb motherfucker. He goes, oh, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know what I was doing, dude. I I thought I was like I was in the Fast and Furious phase. I was like, oh, I can't wait. Blah 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 blah. And then it just it can't. I the was Fast like, and the Furious phase probably had one of the mo- like the biggest effects on people. Where people like yes. went to their car, like a lot of not a lot of movies have that effect unless it's like sports related. But this one was legit. People were like, "I'm finna go drifting in my Civic in a Vons parking lot." Have you ever tried drifting? It doesn't work. It it's in, it doesn't. It depends on the car. Work. But uh, yeah, no, it's not. No, in golf carts. You ever do that? Yes. Golf That's my favorite. Do anything That's why it. I like golfing in the morning because the, the grass got that little mist on it, and you hit that little burnout. It's just so fun. I miss golf. I miss golf so much. I hate when like I hate when such little things affect golf. It makes me so upset. Like what? Like the mist. Like you have to start taking the mist into account, and then all of a sudden at twelve o'clock the greens dry out, and you have to take that into account. Oh, they're gonna be a little more this way or that way because it's like there's so many little fucking nuances of it. It's it's so it's like it's you know it's funny complex. It what always brings me back to like reality when I'm playing. I get like mad or something. Oh, like course. my friend and I would just snap clubs just out of anger, of just throwing clubs. And then if you think about it, all you're trying to do is get a tiny white plastic ball in a hole. Yeah. Think about it. But it's so stressful just to be like, you motherfucker. And then you're just like, that's all you're doing. Just get a ball in a hole. I get so upset. And then I have a, like a revelation. I'm like, I'm not going to go on tour. Yeah. It's fine. Like, already- I'm paying money for this. I should enjoy it. I When I, hold on. I like to drink a little when I play. I play better when I'm a little boozed up, you know? Okay. I can't. If I have a sip I'm of I'm more loose. I'm fucking, oh, I'm, I'm garbage. You're trying to fucking deep throat your nine iron. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, hey, what's up, baby? Oh, I'll show you a back nine. Fuck. Yeah, trying to fuck my, my ping hoofer. Sir, this is a mini putt golf. You're like, all right, well. Mini, oh, fuck. Are, are you good? Uh, yes. At golf but or do you, putt? Mini putt. putt. Yes. That's the best date spot. I told you about this girl almost beat me in, in mini golf, and I would have left the date if she fucking beat me. <laughs> I would have I'm so competitive, I would have left the date. How she almost beat you? She just She was good. Yeah. She was fucking good. Or are you trash? <sighs> Listen. Do you want to fucking Kiki, play mini golf, bro? Do you let uh I wanna play. Let's do it. But if, if there's any place that's got coronavirus, it's those putters. The dude. They're like, oh, you got Velcro on the, on the grip. And they're like, no, that's just rubber. All right. I think that's HPV. It's Ooh. like fucking movie theater floor just on the putter. Can they wash the floor? They never know. wash it. No. Gabriel? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, we're kind of running out of time here. Do you guys want to do a secret running sock? Running out of time what? here. Do you guys want to do a secret sock? Oh, it's just secret sock. Hell yeah, yeah. Are they writing in or is this separate? Uh, no, this is separate. This is from our from our Instagram submissions. Hell so yeah. Hopefully they're watching. Um, okay, so this is an anonymous submission from Instagram, and they say, I recently came out to a few friends and family members, and it feels fucking good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's great. I mean, it's all, honestly, we could have your own reception or perception of like, what's going to go, what's going to happen? What's going to go wrong? And then you do it and then it does, that doesn't happen. It's just getting in your own head, being fearful. Yeah. That's great, man. It, honestly, like, dude, it must be such a, like, just a weight of weight off your back and you'd be like, okay, this is who I am. And just com- be completely unapologetically who you are. Fuck. That's like, yeah. I'm getting chills thinking about it. That's so fucking, that's what a freeing experience. Amazing. That's crazy. Good for you. Beautiful. Um, cool. Want to do another one? Any other questions in the chat? Any anything? La- last yeah. last shit. last couple questions. So also, baby. guys, we do a live podcast once a month for the Patreon, which we forgot to mention. Yeah. The Patreon is only five dollars a month, which we've said it before. It's a cup of coffee. You go to Starbucks. Here, you know what? Give it to me. Go to Starbucks next time. Order a drink, and then they're like, "That'll be five twenty-three. Be like, "I'm good." Then walk out. Yes. See how see how good that felt? Because now you get four hours, four four hours for five dollars. At uh, we're all we're really close to two thousand patreons. I think we're what like a hundred away. We're hundred away. And at at two thousand, it's the Gabe interview, the man behind the microphone. Oh shit, Gabe's Bro. wild. And and I don't. Gabe's know. done heroin, dude. That and he's not joking. Gabe has done heroin, so Are that's we? a little sneak peek. <laughs> So, yeah, you know. but he also has his life together more than anybody I know. So this it's going to be good. Would fall apart if we didn't have Gabriel. Oh my God, what would we do? It would be doing it would be a on podcast a and iPhone. A... <laughs> it would be. <laughs> It'd be on a couch. You know, people just throw couches out on the street. Yeah. Where do yeah. those couches go? I, d- d- dude, I don't know. <laughs> like, I think people have that same thought process because somebody threw away a dishwasher on my street, and it's been there for like two weeks. Couches I could see because you might be able to flip it, or like if you're homeless, you'd be like, "That's my new." Studio apartment, but like a fucking dishwasher. I don't need I don't, that in a pandemic. I don't, even, I don't even see the advantage of having a dishwasher, even if it's working. Dude, I have a dishwasher. And I just hand wash all that shit. Why wouldn't you? It's one fucking dish. Also, dishwashers, you got to clean them before you put exactly. it in there. Exactly. So dishwasher doing it. It's just a hose box. <laughs> it is. It's a box that just goes. What you need, what you need is a dishwasher. And I'm sure they have them out there, but I haven't seen a commercial for them. That you can just put the dish. You finish your pasta. You I want to put, the put dish a whole ass thing. That's what I'm saying. But I want to put my rack of ribs in there after, and then it'd be gone. Yeah. That's a dishwasher. That's what it is. You just a hot hose in a box. I need, I need there to be a like a disposal in that bitch. Yeah. That's what we need. And it takes so long. It's like an hour and a half. What are you doing in there? Just get off the, the ketchup off the plate. Hurry up. <laughs> First, why does it take so long to wash clothes, too? Hurry the fuck up. What is dude. it doing in there? You think it would need, like, one... It's taking a break. It's taking a fucking break. <laughs> just You're a robot. Smoking a cigarette. I'm stressed out, bro. It's a pandemic. What does that have to do with your life? Nothing. Get back to work. Yeah, can, it, can a robot get... But do you really need 45 minutes of water just going... Just hurry up. You think you could knock it out in a quick 15... Dude, if I had Pops. one super sucker and Dawn soap, I'd be done in 10 minutes. It's the same thing. Hurry up. Dryers, you got an excuse. Dryers are fine. That makes sense to me. Washers, do a <laughs> spin dry, put in the- Put a tidal wave, a bukkake wave, and then be done. You ever like sit and like watch it fucking spin? No, I have a cell phone. <sighs> well, that was very rude. Okay. I think those are people used to do at at because at my old place I didn't have a in laundry place, so I'd have to go to a place and watch it, and yeah. and that's real shit. People just be watching. But it's like therapeutic I'm, though. That's what I'm You'd saying. Like, Damn, she really cheating on me. <laughs> I'm never gonna at, see that money again. Just, I miss my kids. God. Am I saying this out loud? You going through yeah, that too, yeah. Mavis? All right. Shared it. Shared it. Goddamn. Uh, what were you saying? The fuck was I saying? God, I have to pee so bad. I gotta, I gotta poop actually. To be quite honest, um, we got one more for the for the kids, and we're getting out of here. Yeah, this is a this is a good question. And on Tara Brady wants to know: Do you, do you guys or have you seen anything good that's come out of the pandemic? Like anything that's made you say like, "Hey, that's cool." Uh, I think people are more appreciative. It's a little more unison. Not as much hate online. It's more towards the hate online. It's towards like government stuff instead of just people being mad. But uh, a lot. I've spent a lot more time with being here, spending time with the people, which is great. Yeah, I, think, I, I talk to my parents every day. I think environmentally is dope. Like, there's way less people driving. 
way like way just less admissions so it's actually oh, helping mother nature just fucking up their raging tits be like oh hey, ain't no pollution or oh. or mother nature got so much gas up there she missing it she fiendish like let me get a huff of that diesel mate is that what you yeah maybe maybe like the 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 ecosystem gets used to all of it and they're like oh where is it i, mean, I don't know how to operate because they sort of like evolved i have been seeing a lot more wildlife squirrels are out here birds are out here they're like oh shit world's done we out here i'm gonna Sorry, go get this bobcat nut. Really? No, but I just thought I, it, I believe it though. Say it. Let's actually do one more question here, really quick, because we have a fellow podcaster that wants advice. He says, "I've been trying to get into podcasting. I'm four episodes deep. Do you have any advice for me?" Keep Man, going. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was just talking about this with somebody yesterday. Uh, where this podcast started versus where it is now is like. You, the cool part about podcasts is you grow as your audience does. Yeah. So you be, I mean, we have inside jokes where like, if you just start listening today, you might not know that Michael likes to come on floors, but if you've been here since episode 23, it might be that one. I don't know. You, it's like a running joke. And now people bring floors to the shows. People bring shit, Marley and me, you know, like people have brought the goddamn, the used BMW that's from the white club. So when those lovely people send me cease and assist, <laughs> but, uh, it, it grows with it. And honestly, I had a, a YouTube following at the time of like 100K subs. And I was like, oh, this shit will probably do like 75,000 views, you know, just because that's normal or whatever. And then it got like 5,000 plays. Yeah. And I was like, Mike, what the fuck's going on? But like, you got to understand, like, for a younger generation to get an hour of content. I mean, people will comment on a minute long TikTok. Like, this is too long. So to give somebody an hour of content, it's a lot to ask. So you, the people that find it, and I'm glad I never gave up on this podcast because now people come to the shows and they find time, whether they're working out, studying, uh, on the way to work, commute or whatever. It's like the people who want to listen to podcasts, they'll come for it, you know? So it's a, it's a really slow build, but they're the most loyal fans. Uh, you can grow and even if you're not looking for fans or just people who will stick with you. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think like the, the main, the only piece of advice that I give anyone who asked me about podcasting is literally for the first 20 episodes, I wouldn't look at numbers and I would just keep going. It's the same thing with YouTube is the same thing with fucking putting out any type of video, Instagram, whatever. It's just, you keep putting out consistent content and eventually you'll find a fan base. But like, don't get discouraged because you're like, oh, there's only 500 people watching. Don't even look at numbers. If you're, and the thing is, have fun with it, bro. Like, if yeah. you if you have fun with the podcast, we have so much fun fucking around. So that's sort of all that matters. Yeah. Also, don't be scared to change it up because if any of you guys are Word. from the beginning, you don't have to be just because your name says it doesn't mean you have to stick to that thing unless it's like serial killers talking about serial. Then maybe talk about serial. Yeah, uh, lucky charms a little bit. Yeah. Okay. You know, cinnamon toast crunch for me. But right. uh, yeah, that's, I agree to disagree. But uh, we used to. The original pitch to the show, which made no sense of the name, we would go out, do an activity, film it, vlog it, and then talk about it on the podcast. But we found riffing up top about nonsense bullshit, like banging fucking Pokemon, was funnier than the actual activity. And the activity was less about, like, the episode, you know? Right. So we just made a decision, like, 20 episodes in, and we're like, this is better. And, like, honestly, maybe one person's like, what happened to activities? Yeah. And that person was a small business owner who wants $25 for us to go uh, skydiving. I would do it. I'd, yeah. Um, so that's uh, that's it, man. And uh, yo, good luck on your podcast, whoever asked that question. But guys, remember, uh, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wash your dicks. Don't sweat nacho cheese. And stay safe out there. If you want to shit a Trisket, definitely. Yeah, we're only meeting uh, just right now so we can do this. But then we are, we, I mean, we, we, we hand sanitized up, you know. Michael went to give me a hug, and, and then I just threw a Lysol can at him. And I caught it. He did. And then sanitize. <laughs> but also, guys, if you want this live episode, uh, we're so close to the Gabe interview. Go to patreon.com slash stiff socks pod. And we do a monthly uh, one live a month. And that's only with Patreon people. And we like read all their comments live. It's a fun time. But if you watch this far, you're either bored or you love us. And either way, thanks for watching. Thank you, guys. Um, as I say, always go on iTunes, rate, review, and subscribe. It really helps us out. And for real, guys, we love you. Thank you so much. And uh, have a good day. Stay safe. Wash your dick.